Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to deactivate your Facebook page. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, the first step, of course, on your iPhone or Android or on a computer is to open up Facebook. After we've done that, I'm gonna tap the menu button at the bottom right. You'll see I'm acting as my current personal profile. I need to switch over to the page and to do so, I will tap those three dots at the top right. And I will switch over to Trevor's Treats. Now I'm acting as my page and I need to hop into the settings. To do that, let's tap menu at the bottom right. And you'll see the gear icon at the top right. Let's choose that. And finally, at the very top is page settings. Let's choose that. Now on here, let's scroll down, keep scrolling down, and under Facebook page information, you can see access and control, manage your data, modify your legacy contact, and delete your page and more. So let's tap access and control. Here, finally, we get to deactivation and deletion. I can tap on it, and I have the ability to deactivate my page. It says this can be temporary. Your page can be disabled and your names and photos removed from most of the things that you shared. So all you have to do is hit continue here and you have to enter in the password for an admin. So let me enter that in real quick. Let me autofill the password and hit continue. Now I can just say whatever I want on here. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna say it's temporary and I'll be back. And at the bottom, let's hit continue. And it says, do you wanna log out? Do you wanna save all your posts for archive? And do you wanna automatically reactivate? I would choose on here to don't automatically reactivate, just reactivate when you decide to do that manually. And finally, let's hit continue at the bottom and then continue again. And finally, we are on the last page. We can hit deactivate right here in blue. And basically that is the process. You can always get it back because you deactivated it instead of deleted the entire page. I hope this helps. If it did, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.